first of all, the future is bright. Um, I would compare it to search engines 20 years ago or 15 years ago, which eventually uh, became way more, something way larger than just the search uh, engines, right? You can do so many things now through search. Uh, you can set up your email account, you can uh, book a taxi, you can uh, book uh, any other service you can, you can think of. Um, and that's where our services are heading to as well. We will be um, all around on-demand platforms, which allow you to book everything from taxi to food to uh, run delivery services, expanding across uh, different type of uh, transportation uh, options as well. Let's continue our talk to Paul Malinsky, CMO of Easy Taxi here in Brazil and for Latin America. I'd like you to talk about numbers in your growth. Whoa. Well, in the last year only, um, Easy Taxi have grown by, uh, had grown by more than 40% year over year. Uh, we believe that this is a, a very strong growth, uh, despite um, already a very substantial footprint that we represent on the market. Um, numbers speaks for it, speak for itself. Um, we have more than uh, 500,000 taxis registered globally, and more than 25 million downloads of uh, our mobile app. Uh, monthly, when we look at the more uh, operational numbers, uh, this is around 8 million completed rides. Um, uh, each month. Completed meaning the ones where uh, the passenger has actually boarded uh, a taxi. Um, now, I think that it's also worth mentioning that these numbers uh, are poised to grow. There is a big potential behind this market. Our estimates uh, state that only 3 to 5% of all the taxi rides are actually completed through um, e-hailing solutions. So uh, there is a massive potential behind this market. Uh, and also when you look at uh, the, the spectrum of competition, um, there is a space for further consolidation, for expansion of additional services, um, not necessarily uh, transportation related. Um, so uh, yeah, to maybe expand your idea, I think that um, this urban mobility sector is transitioning towards becoming uh, platforms, becoming hubs, becoming centers of O2O on-demand um, services. And does the crisis impact your business? Actually, no. Uh, that's a very interesting question because uh, you might think so, but what happens is that crisis increases the number of users of public transportation. People are uh, less uh, prone to use their cars, um, while at the same time we still have this very, very strong factor of growth which accompanies the market. Um, when we see the Brazilian economy as a whole, uh, we had contraction last year, that's true. But when you look at the technology market, there was more than 8% growth uh, in 2015 alone. And now when you look at the individual companies, then this growth is, of course, um, way faster, especially if you are a mobile platform. Uh, so in our case, uh, we believe that uh, crisis is not um, going to stop Easy Taxi, quite the opposite. It's going to accelerate our growth. Um, and we are very positive about uh, the direction that the sector is growing, having a lot of support from the governments, uh, which regulate more and more services, uh, want to work with us on um, individual campaigns. Um, so the market conditions are just ideal right now. And what are the plans of expansion? If you, look about, if you ask about the geographical expansion, I think that uh, we've had enough. Uh, we've learned that uh, this business is not about uh, the reach, but it's about the quality and focus. Um, we used to be present in many more markets. We like to test, we like to test the waters, we like to pivot um, and, and decide where really the potential is, uh, is concentrated. Uh, and, and by the end of the day, we decided that Latin America is uh, our, our you know, focus, is where we want to be. Um, and um, uh, this doesn't mean that Easy Taxi is always going to be a Latin America player. We have a very, very large uh, market there in Saudi Arabia where uh, women cannot drive. Um, so, so looking at the market factors, it just uh, accelerates the, the popularity of similar apps. Uh, but yes, by the end of the day, Brazil, Colombia, these are the large markets here. We will be expanding with new services. This is going to be an ongoing innovation, but not um, uh, geographically, I, I assume. Or uh, We don't say uh, yes, we don't say no, uh, but definitely that's not uh, something on the top of our minds right now. And do you intend to be an open capital company someday? 
Oh, I think that's uh, that's what every investor is uh, eventually uh, looking forward to. Um, uh, on average, these days, it takes five to eight years for a company to mature to enter the uh, IPO stage. Uh, we've been on the market for five years. We know that this is coming. Um, uh, the urban mobility market, the on-demand uh, e-hailing, is around two years younger than um, on-demand food delivery services. And those services are already entering the, uh, the stock exchanges. So we might expect that within the following two years, Easy Taxi uh, will be somewhere there uh, on the stock exchange. Um, again, this is not something that we can guarantee. Uh, I think uh, there is more discussions in the sector about potential consolidations, potential partnerships, alliances. Um, um, in either case, IPO is not going to change our thinking. We're still going to have to work hard, uh, evolve, uh, innovate. Uh, this is an ongoing journey. And how do you see the future of this industry? Right. So I think, first of all, the future is bright. Um, I would compare it to search engines 20 years ago or 15 years ago, which eventually uh, became way more, something way larger than just the search uh, engines, right? You can do so many things now through search. Uh, you can set up your email account, you can uh, book a taxi, you can uh, book uh, any other service you can, you can think of. Um, and that's where our services are heading to as well. We will be um, all around on-demand platforms, which allow you to book everything from taxi to food to uh, run delivery services, expanding across uh, different type of uh, transportation uh, options as well. Um, again, it's a platform, it's a hub. It is really up to us and the market factors, how will this evolve? Uh, what I can assure you is that we are very hungry for growth and uh, we are willing to, uh, to search for uh, more strategic windows to open. And let's talk now about team and talents. Uh, I can see a motivated team here. How can you reach this? Right. If you look at the labor market in Brazil, uh, there are many people who want to work for Easy Taxi. I think we have built a culture which is which is becoming um, something of of a, of a peg for many other startups here in Brazil. Um, you know, talent brings talent. So people know that when they come to Easy Taxi, and that's the feedback that we often hear, they can learn way more than in any other company. It is a very dynamic environment, very progressive environment, uh, a company which is present in uh, many markets here. So it opens some opportunities for international career as well. Um, and yeah, I think that there are you know, some of those small elements which really make people happy. Uh, we just uh, sign a, a really big uh, corporate client. Uh, let me demonstrate what we do in this case. Uh, this is our uh, you know, uh, tool uh, make of, of happiness. Uh, and let's see what's going to be the reaction. <laughs> right. As you see, they, they know what it means. They know uh, that uh, something good has happened. So. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, thank you so much for this interview. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate um, uh, this, this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Luciane Miranda to Ducascope TV.